All right, for this video, I'm going to show you how to do uh, planes. Uh, you've already learned how to do a lot of the sketch tools. Uh, now you're ready to start learning some of the 3D modeling t uh, features that are there. So first you need to know how to put on um, an extra plane at times. So first I want you to go and open. Go to the R drive. Ping. If you are in my class, uh, Mrs. Hogan's, go to Hogan. Uh, Mrs. Krumzik has the same thing in hers, but um, I'll just go ahead and go to mine. You can open either. Um, Hogan BA, this is an IED, it's Unit 5, and it's the Planes tutorial part. Go ahead and open that up. All right, so right up here in the middle, it says Plane. All right, and uh, you put just a normal Plane here. Whenever you're setting those up, you have to go over here to the browser, press the plus and see how you can put just a regular plane in depending on which direction if you want it uh, you know the YZ axis the you know whichever axis that you're going on okay another way uh, which I'm going to actually show you here if you put an axis right there in the middle right? notice I just clicked axis and I clicked in the middle close that window so that doesn't keep popping up um, I put an axis on here. I click plane. I want the plane. Maybe I want to go up and down or through the middle. Okay. Let's click this one. And now click on the plane. Or the axis, I mean. Sorry. Click on the axis. I can put this at whatever degree I want going around that axis. Okay. So maybe I wanted it like a 30 degree angle. All right. I'm going to go ahead and back that up. Okay, you can also do a offset plane. So I click an offset and whichever one I want to pick it to go from. Okay, I click on it. Maybe I want it uh, 0.5 inches away from that surface there. Hit enter and I've got a plane right here. Okay. Right. Or maybe I want it to offset going up in okay I can even uh, pick it up and I can drag it to whatever distance I want okay I can kind of see where I want to put it and I hit accept or enter okay, I'm going to undo those All right, what's next okay we've got a plane through a point and you also down here we've got through a point as well. So how I would do that, I'm going to put a sketch on here. I'm going to add a point. Um, got to remember where that is. Point. Just put a point on it. Obviously I can dimension to where I want the point, but for this I'm just going to put this through here. Alright, so I want to go through the point. So which direction do I want it going? But here, through that point there. Right? I could have even went through a different one. Notice I'm over here in the browser where it says origin. That's where I'm getting these from. Okay. I'm going to undo that. I also can do, uh, well, I guess I need a, if I have a point on the circle, I can also do the same thing. Uh, with one of these tangent through a point. Okay, but that would then, the it would need to be on the circle. Okay, so I'll go ahead and undo that as well. Okay, midpoint or midplane between two parallel planes. Click on it. All right, I'm going to do two planes here. Right, put one through it. Or actually, I could have, uh, instead of turning it around, I could have just done this, clicked, and then just kind of hover over that. And it'll allow me to have that second half. And puts it right down the middle. And then the reason why these planes are so important is maybe I want to put something in the middle on this plane. All right? I hadn't showed you that before. but So if I want to then create a sketch on that plane, I clicked up in the corner, I can put something here in the middle. But notice this is in the way. 
All right, I can't see the plane to, to use that sketch. So what I do is I hit the button F7. All right, F7. And it moves it out of the way so I can work with it. All right, so maybe I want to, um, I don't know, well, one of the possibilities could be I want to maybe do an offset of this whole shape. In that case, I'm going to have to use my project geometry. Okay, I'm going to go through the cut edge, and it's going to give me that edge right there. So I'm go ahead and draw it on there for me. Now I can hit offset, right click, I want the loop select so that it will select everything. Shout out to Brooke for teaching me that one, thank you. Um, so I right clicked, I turned on the loop select. Okay, now I'm going to select, and it's going to select the whole thing for me. I can now hollow it out a little bit. I'm going to finish that sketch. And so inside here is that sketch. So I hit extrude. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to select that shape that I just did. Now I can maybe go both sides if I just want to hollow out the inside of it. I can go both directions symmetrically, and maybe I want it to be like, uh, if I did one, it would hollow it all the way. So instead, let's do like 0.75. Okay. And that would hollow out the middle. All right. It seems like it had a little bit of an error, but that's the concept that we're going with. All right. That you can draw it and you can hollow things out or you can, uh, make things just right in the middle by putting a sketch on your plane. So let me go ahead and undo some of this stuff. Okay, so also we can do an angle to the plane around an edge, just like it sounds like. I pick an edge and it puts a plane on that edge and I decide uh, what angle I want to make it at. Again, there I can put a sketch on it and I can draw something uh, and it would go through it would, whatever that plane is. Now if the plane, say I want to make something up here, let me show you, I can. I can go ahead and draw, not on the plane, but over to the side of it and I can still use that. Okay, and I can extrude it and leave it on there. It doesn't actually have to be touching that plane. That's just saying, here it is. You can, you know, in infinity on and on and on. You can still draw on this thing. All right. If I cancel that and do that sketch. Okay. Let's see what else we can do. Three points. All right. So I can just pick out three points. Two, three. So I can put a plane, so I can put a sketch and draw and design anything I want this way. Okay. Let's see. We also have two congruent edges. So I can maybe click this one and this one. All right. Tangent uh, through an edge. So. Again, over here, I'm probably going to have to pick the direction, and then I've got to hit an edge. And, of course, it doesn't want to work for me, because sometimes that happens. I don't know if you've noticed <laughs> with the inventor or not, but uh, tangent through the edge. Let's just see, as we hover, what it tells us to do. Grace the plane through the edge and tangent to a curved surface. Not really sure why it's having an issue with that. Oh, I see. I clicked the edge. So let me do it again. Tangent to the edge. Okay. I clicked the edge. Then I clicked the circle I want it to be tangent to. So I've got to hit it twice. Okay. And so say I want to uh, do something right here. Okay. And put a sketch on that. I hit again the F7. Right? 
and I can draw whatever I need to right here so that it can go through it. All right, and I can draw from there. Okay, this helps you in whenever you're designing and you're drawing these, uh, there's all kinds of things you might come up with and you need to be able to start a sketch wherever you need to start it. Uh, that sounds very confusing, but hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> Um, okay, so tangent, right? if I have uh, through, a lot of times you can just put one on a circle, okay, wherever you click, that's how I did that, right, or maybe, again, I can do a different direction, and I want it on that circle. Okay, so that's how you work with planes. So as you need help, just ask and we can um, assist you.